It's a scene common across Louisiana's pine forest belt. Trees broken off and scattered across the forest floor, courtesy of Hurricanes Laura and Delta. Forestry consultant Daniel Rush was planning on doing a second thinning of this tract, but it is now a salvage operation, which means lower prices for the timber. If we were for a second thinning, we'd get $8 a ton. We we're only getting a salvage rate of around $2 uh, to $3 a ton. Most mills were full to capacity with the influx of salvaged timber, leading to depressed prices. With the winter weather causing much of the salvage efforts to stop, the window is rapidly closing for the downed timber. Depends on the shelf life of it. We're thinking we can salvage on it to maybe the uh, early spring, maybe some of this will still be worth salvaging. Because there is such a large swath of downed timber, the vast majority will be left on the ground. After Hurricane Rita, experts estimated approximately 5% of the timber was salvaged, but it is unlikely that number will be met. Those actual percentages may be as low as 2 or 3% of the damaged timber that's actually able to be salvaged. Mill closings in the area have given landowners fewer options of where to take damaged timber, causing less timber to be salvaged. With reduced revenues, landowners may not have the luxury to replant their lands. Most of them rely on revenues generated at final harvest for their reforestation monies. They're not making enough to pay for their site prep and reforestation costs. Hutchins says programs such as the Forest Productivity Program administered by the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry could help offset some of these costs. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.